हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक फर्टिगेशन बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव डन एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विथ स्पेशलाइज इन इकोनॉमी फ्रॉम जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर इन नाइनटीन एंटी सिक्स एंड प्रेजेंटली एसोसिएटेड विथ सीड इंडस्ट्री इन प्राइवेट एम एन सी जॉब सो लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज फर्टिगेशन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर्स थ्रू इरीगेशन सिस्टम इज रिफर्ड एज फर्टिगेशन मीन्स फर्टिगेशन इज कल टू फर्टिलाइजर एप्लीकेशन अलॉन्ग विथ इरीगेशन वाट इज फर्टिलाइजर फर्टिलाइजर्स आर केमिकल कंपाउंड्स इन लिक्विड और ग्रेन्यूल्स फॉर्म विच प्रोवाइड्स इसेंशियल प्लांट न्यूट्रिएंट्स टू द प्लांट्स टू प्रमोट ग्रोथ दे आर आइदर अप्लाइड थ्रू सॉयल और इरिगेशन वाटर नाउ इरिगेशन इरिगेशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ अप्लाइंग कंट्रोल्ड अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर टू प्लांट्स इट नीडेड इंटरवल्स इरिगेशन हेल्प्स टू ग्रो एग्रीकल्चर क्रॉप्स मेंटेन लैंडस्केप्स एंड रेगेटेड डिस्टर्ब सॉयल्स इन ड्राई एरियाज एंड ड्यूरिंग पीरियड्स ऑफ लेस देन एवरेज रेनफॉल नाउ टू गो इन डिटेल्स अबाउट फर्टिगेशन वन ऑफ द फीचर्स ऑफ प्रिसीजन फार्मिंग इज टू हैव मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल यूज इफिशियंसी ऑफ एप्लाइड इनपुट्स स्पेशली वाटर एंड फर्टिलाइजर्स हेंस द फर्टिलाइजर्स आर डिजॉल्ड एट एप्रोप्रिएट कंसेंट्रेशन इन वाटर एंड एप्लाइड थ्रो इरीगेशन वाटर बाई माइक्रो इरीगेशन सिस्टम दिस प्रैक्टिस इज नॉन एज फर्टिगेशन वेयर द न्यूट्रियस एंड वाटर इन रिक्वायर्ड क्वान्टिटी एट करेक्ट टाइम आर प्लेस्ड इन द रूट जोन सो दैट मैक्सिमम एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ एप्लाइड न्यूट्रियस एंड वाटर इज एस्योर टू अचीव मोर क्रॉप पर ड्रॉप ऑफ वाटर इन अदर वे Fertigation is the method of applying fertilizers, soil amendments, and other water-soluble products required by the plants during its growth stages through drip, a sprinkler, or furrow method of irrigation systems. Fertigation system is a method of cultivation in which the provision of a complete fertilizer to crops is given in the form of a solution. and delivered to the root zone through a micro irrigation systems of drip irrigation or a sprinkler system or furrow irrigation method now history of fertigation this technique was first started in the late 1960s in israel in the year 1970 our scott first reported that urea applied through irrigation system was more efficient than hand broadcasting on soil surface by 1980 over 1 million hectare area was brought under drip irrigation after few decades it became a high tech efficient and a potential method in modern agriculture resulting in higher yields with improved quality of the crop produce now to study the crops suited for fertigation In India fertigation is not common for food crops to a limited extent fertigation is used for cash crops like sugarcane and cotton pulse crops like pigeon pea and fodder crops bajra napier hybrid orchard crops like banana citrus and guava are used fertigation methods vegetables like tomato chili brinjal cabbage cauliflower hybrid cucumber hybrid bitter gourd potato and sweet pepper are having the practices of fertigation and flowers like rose carnation gerbera are the major crops under fertigation now here we will go through principles of fertigation the fertigation system aims at maximizing yield by optimizing water and fertilizer use efficiency with reduction in quantity of fertilizer water and labor and minimizing pollution the discharge rate of water should optimize the wetted soil volume in order to assure optimum root volume this in turn will definitely help in maximum biomass production and economic yield 
such practices usually extend the crop duration and hence the yield naturally by consuming more quantity of nutrients and water with minimal loss of these inputs because of application of a small quantity of nutrients and water with more frequency losses beyond the root volume are minimized thereby improving the use efficiency the concentration of nutrients in irrigation water should be in such a way so as to maintain the required soil solution concentration in the wetted root zone if the concentration exceeds the above limit build up of salinity can be anticipated while influx towards the root surface will not occur if it is below this level which in turn hinders the nutrient uptake as per barosef in 1999 what is the need and essentiality of fertigation there are various reason by which fertigation is adopted and it is proving the good results over conventional methods the uneven growth is seen in fertilizer consumption across states and crops mining of nutrients from the soil at alarming rates soil fertility depletion due to inadequate and imbalanced fertilizer application often resulted in increased use of fertilizer stagnation of fertilizer production and dependence on import of fertilizers because of shortage further the decline in crop response to applied fertilizer due to imbalanced fertilizer application weakening the relationship between fertilizer use and yield potential this also attenuates the need for balanced application of fertilizer in water soluble form as per the stage wise requirement of the crop in the active root zone in order to achieve maximum use efficiency of both water and fertilizer as per ncph 2017 now we will study what are the uses of fertigation the shortage of water worldwide for use in agriculture and increased urbanization has forced agriculture development to new locations less suitable to old flood or canal irrigation methods which leads to the development of fertigation it was first developed for field and horticulture crops and later used on tree plantations in later stages a small gardens and the potting trade adopted the use of fertigation with automatic scheduling of irrigation cycle for home and city gardens fertigation today is used in any system a small or large scale all over the world in fertigation it's also important to track activities on all fields and crop production on farms every time you irrigate fertilize or even protect your crops you can enter this data and track spent amounts of water fertilizers and pesticides per field in the apps all that can be viewed and analyzed on the basis fertigation is practiced extensively in commercial agriculture and horticulture fertigation is also increasingly being used for landscaping as dispenser units become more reliable and easier to use fertigation is used to add additional nutrients or to correct nutrient deficiencies detected in plant tissue analysis it is usually practiced on the high value crops such as vegetables turf fruit trees and ornamental plants now fertilizer selections for fertigation recommendations have to be developed for the most suitable fertilizer formulation including the primary secondary and micronutrients according to the suitability of cultivation environment four main factors to be considered in selecting fertilizers for fertigation which are first one plant type and physiological stage of the crop second is soil and climatic conditions most important factor is ph then salinity nutrient mobility in soil 
थर्ड फैक्टर इज वाटर क्वालिटी एंड फोर्थ फर्टिलाइजर अवेलेबिलिटी एंड प्राइस प्लानिंग द इरीगेशन एंड न्यूट्रिय सप्लाई टू द क्रॉप अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर फिजोलॉजिकल स्टेज एंड कंसिड्रेशन ऑफ द सॉयल एंड क्लाइमेट करेक्टरिस्टिक्स रिजल्ट इन क्वालिटी प्रोड्यूस बोथ इन टर्म्स ऑफ फूड सिक्योरिटी एंड न्यूट्रिशनल सिक्योरिटी वाट करेक्टरिस्टिक्स शुड बी देयर इन फर्टिलाइजर सुटेबल फॉर फर्टिगेशन इट कैन बी डिस्क्राइब्ड एज फर्टिलाइजर शुड हैव हाई क्वालिटी हाई न्यूट्रिय कंटेंट एंड रिडली अवेलेबल टू प्लांट्स आफ्टर एप्लीकेशन द फर्टिलाइजर शुड हैव हाई सोलिबिलिटी एंड प्योरिटी एट फील्ड टेम्परेचर कंडीशन दिस फर्टिलाइजर शुड कंटेन लो साल्ट लेवल लो कंटेंट ऑफ इंसोलिबल्स and there should be no clogging of filters and emitters after fertilizer use this fertilizer should have compatibility with other fertilizers means this fertilizer can be have quality to mix with other fertilizers if there is requirement to spray multi nutrients no drastic changes of water ph after use means such fertilizer should be have acceptable ph fertilizer should have minimal interaction with irrigation water and it must fit in the farm management program here are the list of fertilizers that can be used as a fertigation the fertilizers like urea ammonium nitrate ammonium sulfate calcium nitrate magnesium nitrate urea ammonium nitrate potassium nitrate mono ammonium phosphate map डाई अमोनियम फॉस्फेट डी ए पी मोनो पोटेशियम फॉस्फेट एम के पी पोटेशियम क्लोराइड विच इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज मिरोटो पोटास एम ओ पी पोटेशियम सल्फेट पोटेशियम थायोसल्फेट फॉस्फेरिक एसिड एंड मिक्स फर्टिलाइजर एन पी के आर बेस्ट सुटेड फॉर फर्टिगेशन एंड बाय द अप्लीकेशन ऑफ सच फर्टिलाइजर वी कैन अप्लाई नाइट्रोजन फॉस्फोरस एंड पोटेशियम इन सोलबल फॉर्म्स A special fertilizers and micronutrients like iron, manganese, zinc, copper, boron, molybdenum are also supplied along with fertigation. Now we will study the fertilizer compatibility for fertigation. Compatibility refers to the quality of fertilizers can be mixed with other fertilizers when there is requirement of multi nutrient supply with fertigation here we have taken the fertilizers urea ammonium nitrate ammonium sulfate calcium nitrate mono ammonium phosphate mono potassium phosphate and potassium nitrate regarding compatibility with other fertilizers as urea is concerned it is compatible with all mentioned fertilizer ammonium nitrate is also suitable to apply along with different fertilizers as mentioned here ammonium sulfate ammonium sulfate is having low compatibility with calcium nitrate and potassium nitrate while other fertilizers like urea ammonium nitrate mono ammonium phosphate mono potassium phosphate are compatible like calcium nitrate it is having low compatibility with ammonium sulfate and not compatible at all with mono ammonium phosphate and mono potassium phosphate in case of mono ammonium phosphate is it is compatible with urea ammonium nitrate and ammonium sulfate but it is not compatible with calcium nitrate in case of mono potassium phosphate it is compatible except calcium nitrate where it is having no compatibility potassium nitrate is compatible with most of the fertilizers but having low compatibility with ammonium sulfate the data is as per the ncph government of india now turn to study dosification in fertigation method there are two types of fertigation the type of fertigation chosen depends on the crop grown the soil type and farm management system and these are quantitative fertigation and second proportional fertigation what is quantitative fertigation it is the application of the plant nutrients 
in predetermined concentration to the irrigation system. The fertilizer is applied in a pulse after a certain water sheet without fertilizer using a fertilizer tank. What is proportional fertigation? The nutrients are applied in a constant and proportional ratio to the water sheet so that the irrigation water takes a fixed concentration of the applied fertilizer. In this case, the fertilizers are applied by direct injection through fertilizer pumps. Here we have shown the comparison between quantitative dosification and proportional dosification. In case of quantitative dosification, there is changing concentration of fertilizer. The fertilizer is applied in one pulse after a certain application of water without fertilizer. While in case of proportional dosification, there is constant concentration of fertilizer nutrients. The same doses but in proportion to the water applied. The irrigation water has a fixed concentration of the applied fertilizer. Now to study fertigation methods. Modern fertigation equipments should be able to regulate quantity applied for fertilizer nutrients, duration of applications, proportion of fertilizers, and starting and finishing time. There are three methods of fertigation or fertilizer injection. First one is pressure tank, second is venturi injectors, and third injection pumps about which we will study now. First fertigation method is pressure tanks where pressure differential mechanism is used by pass tanks. This system works on the principle of a pressure differential created by valve, pressure regulation, pipe friction in the main line. The pressure difference forces the water to enter through a bypass pipe into a pressure tank which contains the fertilizer and to go out again carrying a varying amount of dissolved fertilizer. Part of the flow is diverted to the tank entering at the bottom. It mixes with the fertilizer solution and the dilution is ejected into the system. The dilution ratio and the rate of injection are not constant. The concentration of fertilizer is high at the beginning and very low at the end of operation. However, this apparatus is still in service on a very small scale in some countries because of its low cost and easy manufacture. Second method of fertigation or fertilizer injection is Venturi injector. This is based on the principle of the Venturi tube to cause a reduced pressure vacuum that sucks the fertilizer solution into the line. A pressure difference is needed between the inlet and the outlet of the injector. Therefore, it is installed on a bypass arrangement placed on an open container with the fertilizer solution. The rate of injection is very sensitive to pressure variations and a small pressure regulators are sometimes needed for a constant ejection. Friction losses are approximately 1 bar. The injectors are made of plastics in size from 3 by 4 to 2 inches and with injection rates of 40 to 2000 liters per hour. They are relatively cheap compared to other injectors. Third method is injection pump. This type of injector is powered by the water pressure of the system and can be installed directly on the supply line and not on a bypass line. Injection energy is provided by electric motors, hydraulic motors using diaphragm and piston. The system's flow activates the piston and the injector is operated ejecting the fertilizer solution from a container while maintaining a constant rate of injection. The rate varies from 9 to 2500 liters per hour depending on the pressure of the system and it can be adjusted by a small regulators. Made of durable plastic material, these injectors 
are available in various models and sizes and they are more expensive than the venturi type injectors during fertigation there is interaction between fertilizer and irrigation water so there are some changes in water here the question arises why neutral ph of water is needed in fertigation the water with high content of carbonates and bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium is usually seen in tubewell waters results in precipitation in fertilizer tanks especially that of phosphates and clogging in the system due to increase in ph on the other hand water with low ph and high content of iron and aluminium as in tropical climate can cause toxicity due to these elements in addition to precipitation of phosphorus hence it is mandatory to use water with near neutral ph for fertigation now we will go through a study of advantages of fertigation in details as water and fertilizers are supplied evenly to all the crops through fertigation there is possibility for getting 25 to 30 percent higher yield fertigation assures precise application and uniform distribution of nutrients to the rhizosphere where the active roots are concentrated there is improvement in fertilizer use efficiency in case of fertigation it will be around 80 to 90 percent fertigation minimizes nutrient losses through leaching and evaporation and there will be saving of fertilizers by 25 to 30 percent and increased nutrients absorption by plants nutrients are immediately available to plants and there will be accurate placement of nutrient where the water goes the nutrient goes as well nutrients application can be scheduled as per plant's requirement and there is flexibility with respect to time of application of nutrients in fertigation there is controlled supply and monitoring of water and nutrient supply major and micro nutrients can be applied in one solution with irrigation water by fertigation light soils and uneven lands can be brought under cultivation there will be reduction of soil erosion issues as the nutrients are pumped through the water drip system or sprinkler or other systems fertigation helps in effective weed management and it is economically profitable because government is also providing subsidies on micro irrigation systems by the way of fertigation along with less amount of water and saving of fertilizer time labor and energy use is also reduced substantially along with benefits there are some limitations also for fertigation first one is initial investment is high because we have to set up irrigation devices micro irrigation project and there is high maintenance of safety devices chemical reaction in drip system leading to corrosion and precipitation of fertilizer there will be clogging of emitters concentration of the solution decreases as the solution dissolves this may lead to poor nutrient placement possible pressure loss in the main irrigation line the water supply for irrigation is to be kept separate from the domestic water supply to avoid contaminations and the fertigation process is dependent on the water supply is non restriction by drought rationing so these are the some limitations for fertigation when we are going for fertigation project we have to follow some precautions like first one the fertilizers should be fully dissolved in water before fertigation second the selected fertilizers should be fully compatible with each other third the quality of irrigation water should be properly checked and managed before mixing fourth incorrect applications may lead to salinity problem 
क्रॉप डैमेज लीचिंग ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट्स एंड पोल्यूशन ऑफ ग्राउंड वाटर फिफ्थ टाइम नीडेड टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द फर्टिलाइजर शुड बी लेस देन द टाइम नीडेड टू सप्लाई इनफ वाटर टू द फील्ड अदरवाइज सेलिनिटी में एराइज सिक्स ओवर इरीगेशन शुड बी एवॉइडेड एंड सेवंथ द रेशियो ऑफ अमोनियम एंड नाइट्रेट ऑफ नाइट्रोजन सोर्सेस शुड बी सच एज टू हैव ए नाइट्रोजन मिक्सचर विथ एटी परसेंट ऑफ नाइट्रेट्स एंड ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ अमोनियम टू रेगुलेट पी एच नव द इरीगेशन मैथड्स विच आर यूज फॉर फर्टिगेशन फर्स्ट वन इज ड्रीप इरीगेशन विच इज लेस वेस्टफुल देन स्प्रिंकलर्स इट इज नॉट ओनली मोर इफिशियंट फॉर फर्टिलाइजर यूजेज बट ड्रीप इरीगेशन कैन ऑल्सो बी यूज टू मैक्सिमाइज नेंट अपटेक इन प्लांट्स लाइक कॉटन ड्रीप इरीगेशन यूजिंग फर्टिगेशन कैन ऑल्सो इंक्रीज यील्ड इन क्वालिटी ऑफ फ्रूट एंड फ्लावर्स स्पेशली इन सरफेस ड्रीप सिस्टम रेदर देन अबोव सरफेस ड्रीप टेप सेकेंड इरीगेशन मेथड इज स्प्रिंकलर सिस्टम विच इंक्रीजेज लीफ एंड फ्रूट क्वालिटी एंड थर्ड इज फॉरो इरीगेशन विच इज नॉट मच मोर पॉपुलर बट इन दिस मैथड द फर्टिलाइजर इज अप्लाइड इन फरोज एलोंग विथ इरीगेशन वाटर फ्लो नाउ द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फर्टिगेशन देर आर वेरियस एप्लीकेशन सिस्टम लाइक फर्स्ट वन इज कंटिन्यूस एप्लीकेशन वेर फर्टिलाइजर इज सप्लाइड एट ए कंस्टेंट रेट सेकेंड इज थ्री स्टेज एप्लीकेशन वेर इरीगेशन स्टार्ट विदाउट फर्टिलाइजर्स एंड फर्टिलाइजर्स आर अप्लाइड लेटर इन द प्रोसेस third one is proportional application where injection rate is proportional to water discharge rate fourth is quantitative application where nutrient solution is applied in a calculated amount to each irrigation block and fifth other methods of application which includes the lateral move the traveler gun and solid set system for fertigation In fertigation method, there is increase in yield. Yield under fertigation works as a function of water and nutrient use efficiency. The texture of growing media is an important factor deciding the movement of nutrients and water in fertigation. In order to assure the uniform supply of water and nutrients to the crop through fertigation. the quantity should be such that mobility of ions both through convective and diffusive gradient flow is sufficient to meet the requirement of the plant the limited migration of a strongly absorbed ion in soil implies that the distance between the emitters strongly affect the nutrient availability to the plants so it should be properly placed in general for mobile nutrients with low buffering capacity low rates may be sufficient so as to have dual advantages of meeting the crop needs along with minimizing the leaching losses on the other hand for nutrient with restricted mobility the concentration as well as the frequency of application might be more to assure the reach of nutrients to the root surface now conclusion the economic use of fertilizers and water for realizing the potential yield and for sustainable agriculture is the need for the hour this is required to harvest more quantity produce with a competitive price which can be be planned for seasons of high demand under protected cultivation system the efficient use of water and fertilizers for more yield per unit area is necessary for food security and for keeping the soil and water in a pollution free environment fertigation is not an alternate way but the need of the hour and the best way to realize the potential yield with highest fertilizer and water efficiency and with minimum pollution with more control over factors of productivity in conclusion fertigation system is efficient method applying fertilizers in which the irrigation system is used is the carrier 
and distributor of the crop nutrients. The combination of water and nutrient leads to an efficient use of both by the plant. The use of solid, fully soluble fertilizers seems more economical in the first stage when fertigation is adopted, but the use of prepared clear liquid solutions is very convenient in other cases. The fertigation system is very suitable for commercial agriculture for maximizing profit and yield. So this was all about presentation fertigation. Hope this will be very very useful to all of you. Now my presentation ends here. I have given here my YouTube channel details. Journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Link is provided. Having request, please visit the channel, subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback for further improvements. Thank you.